Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're gonna to be talking what happens when luxury brands that always claim to be copied and everybody's counterfeiting them and oh, what was me, what was me, poor luxury brands. What happens when luxury brands might snatch an idea from other brands? I'm looking at you, Louis Vuitton. Subscribe to my channel here on the tubes first before we get to the topic. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. You are all very welcome to join the conversation every Saturday in the live chats. Hi, everybody. Tickle, 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 everybody. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay, so you guys, as reported by the Scottish Sun, Yes, the sun is in Scotland as well. <laughs> I read the article here. Um, it's, it's They have a, a quirky little uh, title for this article by Stephen Moyes, or Moyes. Uh, a little familiar, Louis Vuitton releases trainers that look a lot like a cheaper pair. And we're going to get to the price in a second. And I'm like, oh, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? And little spelled not L-I-T-T-L-E, but spelled L-I-D-L. Let me show you what we're talking about here. Louis Vuitton. Louis, you didn't. You didn't. Louis, how dare you? How very, very dare you? Catherine Tate does it better than me. Um, so, so, of course, so the Lidl sneakers came out before the Louis Vuitton sneakers, right? Um, <laughs> so Louis Vuitton comes up with sneakers that cost nearly 1,000 pounds. Lidl has a 15-pound version. So Louis Vuitton has released a pair of trainers. Um... The trainers in the firm's color of blue, red, and yellow. So basically, this is the logo color of Lidl. Lidl is like yellow, blue, and red, right? Um, were a hit with fashion fans back in 2020. Some pairs, so they sold out pretty soon, allegedly, apparently. Oh, by the way, everything I say in this video is alleged for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion. Thank you. Sold out allegedly immediately, and some pairs went... Uh, second hand for 250 pounds plus because it was like so oh my god it was such a moment in the fashion community now now the french fashion who's has its own colorful ones priced at 960 pounds and then somebody on facebook is quoted to have said wow louis vuitton ripping off the lidl sneaker or what another one said for sure just 900 pounds more expensive Louis Vuitton said each of its pairs takes seven hours to hand stitch. Girl, Louis, girl, hand, you're hand stitching your sneakers now, Louis? Girl, sorry, girl. I don't know if this is just a legend or if they were really, uh, if they were really quoted to have said this, but girl, this is a machine made sneaker, right? This is, what are you hand stitching? What are you hand stitching? Wishful thinking is what you're hand stitching. Girl, girl. So, um, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, ta, Louis Vuitton going after Lidl, a living ferret, dying ferret, says Pop, uh, Lidl trendsetter. Now, after all is said and done, I think both are really ugly, so I, I, I really could not care less for either one of the two, but if you're gonna go ferret, I would go for the Lidl one because the Lidl one is cooler. I think because the Lidl sneaker is a bit more raw, cheaper made, you can see that it's just, it's there, <laughs> you know? I kind of like that rawness about it. And the Louis is preppy. It's trying to be anally retentive, which it is. Like, let me add another detail and then another one and then another and then the little blue piping around the red thing and then the Louis Vuitton, like, handwritten logo thing and then the LV logo and the, and the LV on the tongue and then the little, you know, it's, it's... I see a rich kid that thinks that they're cool, you know, uh, in the club, you know, and the, the, the weekend club with their daddy and mama, 
you know, thinking like, yeah, I'm, I'm a rebel. I'm going to wear this sneaker to the club with my parents, golf club. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be the different one. You know, like that, that's kind of, that's the vibe this is giving me. The wannabe cool kid that's not cool, but just has the money. Pap says, I have the little ones. They aren't half bad quality. Okay, but they look raw compared to the other thing. But Pap, yes, look at you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Holy says, this is hilarious. Silala says, did they mean hand laced? Ah! <laughs> Listen, this, I mean, the shade of it all. Louis, stick to what you know best. Louis, this. Louis, where, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Okay, Louis. No, where's my camera? There it is. Louis, this. Stick to it. Huh? Will ya? Will ya? It's all mirrored. I see myself mirrored. Do you see this prop? I don't know. Uh, d d Louis. No, this is... These don't look anything alike except for the use of primary colors. That said, the Louis Vuitton ones are atrocious. <laughs> Imagine taking inspiration from Lidl and still failing, says Nonea Biz. Of course, they have a different shape. Yes. That's besides the point. You know what I mean? I feel like they look like toy cars because of the colors. It's not really a dupe, though. The Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuittons are hell or ugly, <laughs> says Jesus. The thing is also, it it's a it's a freaking sneaker. <laughs> you got. I mean, Lidl sells food. Not that like Lidl, Lidl decided to go fashion and then Lidl did a little fashion collection and it was kind of cutesy and a lot of people wanted it and stuff. But also, it's not like Louis Vuitton does sneakers. I mean, they do travel stuff. But technically, Louis Vuitton is more adept to doing sneakers, if you think, because travel has become more comfortable nowadays. People travel less with shoes, but more with sneakers, because traveling is kind of to be comfortable, and sneakers are more comfortable for travel than classic shoes, right? So technically, you could say Louis can justify manufacturing sneakers, but just not this sneaker. <laughs> oh my God, you got atrocious. This th it, just, it ain't it. I'm not living ferret. I'm not living ferret. Little do sell their own clothes, though. Yes, they do. To me, uh, they started. <coughs> to me, it screams Crayola Savers pack of crayons. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm still recovering from COVID, you guys. So, the cough. They look straight out of Canal Street, says Tyler. They do, they do have a little bit of a fakery vibe about them, don't they? Uh, don't they? To me, it screams Crayola. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Like this says, the little sneaker is... Will from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and the Louis Vuitton is Carlton. Good comparison, good comparison. But we're talking about the sitcom Prince of Bel Air, not the new TV show that are bring that they're bringing out. The hyper serious. Oh my God, travesty! Did you see the trailer for it? I was like, why did they, they turn the Fresh Prince of Bel Air into like a, a major drama? I was so shook. You're still stuck at the seven hours, like to make the the sneaker hand stitched. I'm like, girl, come on. No, travesty, right? Yeah, Katie's a travesty. Oh yeah, for the show. Yeah, Fresh Prince of Bel, the new Bel Air. Uh, the the black was a bit too much. Lidl uh, did it just right. Oh, the black on the Louis. Yeah, Lidl did not go uh, into the black color. Um. I don't know if the if the little tab at the back of the at the back of the little sneaker if that's a if the pull tab is black might not be black but nothing else is black on it. In fact, oh the little pull tab is is the three colors just like in the front the lace is going through that one little stitched tab that has red yellow and blue on it. You see it where the price tag the the digital price tag is attached to that little cute detail. That's cute. I find that really cute, and I think that's the pull tab in the back as well. Tyler says, also looks kind of like those TikTokers who repaint shoes in awful colors and will take an Air Force One and put Louis Vuitton monogram on it. Oof, child, let me tell you. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
Hmm. All I can hear is clown car music when I see these. And I love clowns, by the way. Michael G says, uh, the black was a bit too... Oh, sorry, uh, original series, of course, has led to... Yeah, we love the original uh, Prince of Bel-Air. Jesus says, maybe the worker took a seven-hour bathroom break while making them. Pap says, the tab isn't black. It's the three colors. Yes. Louis says, I mean, all the Louis Vuitton sneakers look like they are fake. Sometimes it looks cool, but it's rare. Uh, Tris Scott Swan fan says, Jesus, love the shade. Ha ha. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your comment, your opinions in the section down below. And I said, you know, all of these brands are running after the dupes, the, the counterfeits, the this and the that, you know, like, oh my God, it's like they're holier than thou. Nobody is better than them. But then this happens. And yes, does it have a different shape of a sneaker? Yes. Then the other one, yes. But then the colorway, you know, they also copy from other people and they've also been called out for doing so. Also copying amongst each other, the famous or infamous Dolce Gabbana copying Vivian Westwood with their sex necklaces and in general, they, you know, all the time. But for the shape in particular, you're saying, oh, you know, the shape is completely different. But I'm telling you, for example, Adidas has their three stripes. And if you put three stripes on shoes or clothing, no matter if it's not Adidas, they're going to sue your butt off. <laughs> Vivian Westwood had a shoe. Um, she had the hammerhead toe shoe and also the Tracy Emmons shoe as a sneaker, as a heel shoe with three stripes, but in particular, the hammerhead toe, which, and the three tongue sneaker, which she made in the seventies and eighties. And they had three stripes on them to keep the structure of the shoe. Adidas was like cease and desist immediately, biatch. <laughs> and she had, to, now they have two lines instead of three. Like I'm telling you, even though the shoe was not a sneaker, it had a heel, it was a pirate shoe with a hammerhead toe. It was a leather shoe. They had to take away the three stripes. And now it has two stripes. Um, so I'm telling you, um, Pap says, Louis Vuitton for Lidl? I need Hermes for Target. <laughs> Some of the Hermes things look like they're for Target. Just no D, no shade, all T, all shade. So, yes, but no says at least there's no Z on them. LOL. Well, I mean, depends because you could put the sneakers in the shape of a Z. You could put three sneakers together like that and bam. Louis Vuitton, new ad campaign. Get sneakers for three feet. If you know, you know. <laughs> Power and control says Jesus. Oh, yes, totally, totally. Totally. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye.